So free space. That no. <laughs> <laughs> that Alright everyone, welcome back to the Arcade of Fun, in which it's now time to do our third game of Jeopardy Deluxe Edition for the Sega Genesis, and so far I've won $17,431. See if we can win more. We're taking on Jerry. And Mike, this game. Here we go. Jeopardy round. So we try to add on our $17,431. We're going to deal with these as our six categories. Here are the categories. Biology. Boston. Bicycles. Colors. Sports and film. And finally, U.S. States. Okay. And I get to start things off. Uh, bicycles for 100, please. A long-distance bike ride is only a third of this grueling athletic competition. What is the uh, Tour de France? Or no? What is a triathlon? I'm sorry. What's a triathlon? Bicycles 200. She was told in song, you'll look sweet upon the seat of a bicycle built for two. Jerry. Daisy Bell. You are correct. You're right, Jerry. You're on the board. You have $200 in cash and you get to make the next selection. Biology 100. The only mammal mammals capable of unassisted flight. What are bats? You are correct. Mammals too? The basic cell of the nervous system. Jerry. A neuron, and that was my guess, but I didn't you trust it. Oh well. Patricio might be embarrassed to learn that these are among the smallest of mammals. These are among the smallest of mammals. Uh, what are what are shrews? Okay, let's have mammals for four or biology rather for four hundred, please. I'm sorry, biology four hundred. The prefix hepat in hepatitis refers to this organ. What is the liver? You are correct. Pick biology for 500. Hairy cap, stair step, and granite are varieties of these most primitive green land plants. Jerry. Mosses. You are correct. U.S. States 100. If this state were an independent country, it would be the sixth richest in the world. What is California? You are U.S. states for 200. In 
New Hampshire was the first U.S. state to finance education by this method, adopted in 1963. What is a lottery? You are correct. U.S. states 300. This state's Adirondack Park is the largest wilderness area east of the Mississippi. Uh, what is New York? You are correct. You have states for 400? Jimmy Swagger usually preached via TV from this, his home state. Louisiana, that's correct. You are correct. Sports and film 100. The 1960 film Tall Story was about this college sport in which it helps to be tall. What is basketball? You are correct. Sports and film for 200. Walter Matthau took on a coaching job with this pathetic little league team. Who are the Bad News Bears? Oh, oh. Sorry. Ah, I deleted the yes by accident. Dang it. Knew it. Oh, well, that makes me feel better. Jerry. The Bad News Bears. Yeah, I deleted the uh, S by accident in Bears. I didn't mean to. You are correct. Okay. Sports Film 300. He produced, starred in, and did his own race car driving in the 1969 film, Winning. Paul Newman. You are correct. Tied for the lead with me right now, Jerry. Bicycles 300. Developed in California, bicycle motocross is known by these initials. What are BMX? What is BMX? You are correct. Bicycles for 400. This U.S. company introduced bikes in the 1930s with fat tires and frames styling like motorcycles. Um, I'm just going to say what was Harley Davidson. Sorry? No. Jerry. Nope. So she'll surrender the lead and give it to me. Schwinn. Schwinn. Schwinn and company. Okay. You are correct. Sports and film 400. Elvis Presley played a singing boxer in this 1962 title role. Kid Galahad. You are correct. This star of Jim Thorpe, All-American, went to NYU on, on an athletic scholarship in 1930. Nope. Sorry. 
Oh, Burt Lancaster. All right. You are correct. Jerry is up to nineteen hundred dollars. And she gets to make the next selection. U.S. states five hundred. The geographic center of the lower forty-eight is just outside the town of Lebanon in this state. Kansas. Yep. You are correct. You're up to twenty-four hundred dollars, Jerry. You get to make the next selection as we continue. Boston, a hundred. Puritan women didn't cook on Sunday, but baked these the night before. Hence Boston's nickname. What are beans? You are correct. Boston, two hundred. This president's grandfather served two terms as Boston's mayor in the early 1900s. Who is uh, John F. Kennedy? You are correct. Boston 300. From the name of the highest Hindu caste, it can refer to powerful, wealthy Boston families. Jerry. Brahmin. You are correct. An elegant section of Boston, or a short-lived TV show about a family who lived there. Oh, Beacon Hill. Okay. You are correct. Colors, 100. Umber came from Terra Dombra, the earth of Umbria, in this country. What is Spain? Sorry? No. Italy, the other one. It wasn't Europe, but you had to go to Italy instead of Spain. Boston, 500. Here's the daily double. And I know for a fact she's going to risk $500 on this clue. Here's the clue for you, Jerry, in Boston. You'll see colonial cemeteries, churches, and various houses if you take this historic trail and she doesn't know it. It's the Freedom Trail. Freedom Trail. <laughs> Colors 200. Shade of purple or the fruit mentioned in the rhyme Little Jack Horner. What is plum? You are correct. Colors 300. The Random House Dictionary says to get this color, roast raw sienna in a furnace. No. Bert Saina. Oh, okay. You are correct. Turning off clues. All right. Something intermediate in character or position falls in the area of this color. Nope. Minus $200 now. It's gray. Gray. Okay. A shade of blue is named after this 18th century English potter who used it on his ceramics. Who is Periwinkle? Sorry. 
No. I'm down to twelve hundred dollars. I'm running out of clues. No, sorry. Oh, Josiah Wedgwood. That's right. Back on the plus side of three hundred dollars, and we're gonna go to our last clue, and then we're gonna start double jeopardy. An arena with a cycling track, such as those used in the Olympics, is called this. A velodrome. So Mike has $800, I have $1,200, Jerry $2,100, and Mike, you're in last place, so that means you're going to go first in the round of... We'll double the dollar values. We'll put two daily doubles up on the board. And we have tougher clues. Let's see if the categories sound just as tough. Six letter words. Number, please. Caves. Opera. Zoology. And finally, Brooklyn. Okay. We'll make do with these and Mike gets to start things off. Brooklyn, 200. In a 1945 film and a novel by Betty Smith, this grows in Brooklyn. What is a tree? I'll take Brooklyn for 400. Mel Blank said to create this character's voice, he combined Bronx and Brooklyn accents. Who is Bugs Bunny? Brooklyn 600. It's slang for a Frankfurter from the Brooklyn site where millions have been sold. What is a Coney? Oh! We're slipping now. We gotta get back on track. Jerry. Coney Island. Gotta be more specific. Coney Island. You are correct. Okay. Go ahead, Jerry. Make the next selection. Six letter words, 200. And she got one of the two daily doubles. And I know for a fact she's gonna wager a thousand, so here is her clue. A male feline, even if his name isn't Thomas, and she does not know that it's a tomcat. Oh no, boy. Go again, Jerry. Brooklyn 800. 1960s TV show with theme, but Patty's only seen the sights a girl can see from Brooklyn Heights. <sighs> Mike. It is the Patty Duke show. You are correct. Okay. Brooklyn 1000. It's what folks in Brooklyn were dodging that gave the Brooklyn baseball team its name. Trolleys. Trolley cars. You are correct. You got it. You're up to $2,600, Mike, and you get to make the next selection, and you're in the lead. Six other words, 400. Some people enjoy dashing through the snow in this if it's open and it has one horse. What is a sleigh? Six other words for 600. It means little corn seed, not little army officer. What is Colonel? You are correct. Six letter words, 800. The upper corner of a flag or one of the Swiss states. 
What is a Canton? And that puts me in the lead. Let's have six other words for 1,000. This fancy name for a meal sounds like you've gone by it again. What is repast? You are correct. Good for a thousand. We're up to four thousand dollars at this point in the game. All right, I'd like caves for two hundred. Sea cave on the Isle of Capri, famous for its sapphire-colored light. What is the blue grotto? Caves for 400. It's located under stately Wayne Manor. Was it in at the last second? Oh, the Bat Cave. You are correct. You have to $2,100, Jerry, and you get to make the next selection. Cave 600. This extinct animal can be found today in the title of a Gene Owl book. Gene Owl book. What is the woolly mammoth? No. Mike. It was a mammoth, but we're looking for a... No, it's a cave bear. Sorry. Cave bear. All right. Next clue. Opera 200. At the end of Verity's opera, opera this Ethiopian slave girl is buried alive. Who is Aida? Upper 400. It was George Bizet's last and most famous opera. What is Carmen? Opera for 600. It was Engelbert Humberding's first and most successful opera. We're looking for Hansel and Gretel. You are correct. Mm -hmm. Number please, 200. The number of preps, tops, or seasons of pop music fame. What is four? You are correct. Number please, 400. It was enough for the Bradford family on TV. What is eight? You are correct. Number please for 600. The Census Bureau says U.S. population got to this figure at 11.04 a.m. on November 21st, 1967. Two hundred million. You are correct. You got it. You're up to twenty seven hundred dollars, Jerry. And you get to make the next selection as we continue. Caves eight hundred. The largest subterranean chamber in the U.S. is the big room in this system. Mike. It is Carlsbad Caverns. You are correct. And Mike trails me by only two hundred dollars. Caves a thousand. Francis Lesco Cave isn't noted for its size or unique formations, but for these, what are cave paintings? You are correct. 
There we go. All right, let me have a um, number, please, 800. Booth Tarkington novel about an adolescent called Silly Billy. Seventeen. You are correct. All right. Right now it's a teeter totter battle between Mike and I. Opera eight hundred. After the famous overture is over, this eighteen twenty nine Rossini opera goes on and on for nearly six hours. What is the Barber of Seville? No, so I dropped to five thousand dollars and I'm in second place. Bleh. It is William Tell. Oh, okay. You are correct. Sorry about that. Okay. Number plays a thousand. Funny Brothers Moses and Jerome Horowitz became two thirds of this movie trio. Oh, the Three Stooges. You are correct. Okay. Zoology 200. Another name for the fr frigate bird or a Portuguese jellyfish. What is a man of war? You are correct. Zoology for 400. All lions are cats and all sea lions are these. What are fish? Sorry? No. Seals. Oh, okay. You are correct. $7,600, Mike. Two types of these furry creatures are the Corsac and the Kit. What are foxes? You are correct. A zoology for 800 For lunch, they may seize a drinking antelope by its snout and pull it under the water. What are crocodile? What are yeah? I'll, I'll say what are crocodiles. You are correct. Okay, good. We'll have zoology for one thousand. The eggs of a fish in the ovary or a big deer. Mike. No, sorry. Sorry. Jerry buzzes in at the last possible second. Oh, row! And the last clue is yours, Jerry, because it is the other daily double. She's gonna wager a thousand. Here's the clue for you alone in opera. Here it is. 
The word that completes the title of the upward right. cycle, the ring of the, and she doesn't know. She just, she drops her one hundred dollars. Nibelung. So Jerry has one hundred dollars. I have sixty two hundred. Mike sixty six hundred. So let's see what happens in Final Jeopardy. Will my run keep going or not? The category is ouch. Notice the quotation marks. Here we go. I'm gonna have to go all in on this. I don't have a clue. I don't have a choice. Fast growing grass known as quack grass, quick grass, witch grass, and twitch grass. Jerry and drop all the way down to nothing. I would have lost either way, so. Mike wins with $8,800, so my run ends just after three games, but I did win $17,431. That's how much I'm going away with. That's not bad. And I'll see you all for that next video coming soon, everybody.